Master Chow Chow Chow, Santa Joe here, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Gold 97 Let's Play. In the last episode, we took on the final two members of the Elite Four and the Champion Lance. And in today's episode, we're going to go and see what the after game has in store for us. We need to go and talk to Professor Oak because he has something for us. So let's go and see about that. Joe, there you are! I called because I have something for you! See, this is an SS ticket! Thank you! The West City docks uh, take boats to uh, down to Nyon Southwest Islands. There are lots of rare Pokemon there that can't be found on the other on the mainland you should head down there when you get the chance i will how uh i have have you seen hugo lately i know he's trying uh he's training with his pokemon but I think he's learned how to work together uh, with a te as a team. Okay. I mean, I haven't seen Hugo in a while, and I don't actually know where he would be. So, uh, will we sit? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to run into him again anytime soon. But today, I guess we're going to go and see the uh, what's going on in these islands. So I need to go to West City. Okay, and the boat terminal is down here. And we'll see what is going on. Hey mate, welcome to the West Sea Docks. Would you like to take a ferry to Takaru City? No. We now also offer trips to Nyon Southwest Islands. Would you like to go there? Yes. May I see your SS ticket? That's it. Thank you. We are departing soon. Please get on board. Okay, we're on the SS and to uh well this the the fast ship SS Aqua. Either way. Hey, there should be some... Tr I'm guessing there's some trainers on board, but I don't know. Huh? Um, hello everyone. This is your captain speaking. We have hit some f unexpected rough weather. But everything is fine. Um, nothing to... Nothing wrong at all. We will arrive as planned. That is all. I don't trust our cat. I don't trust our uh, captain here. Let's see what these trainer. Let's see what these other passengers have to battle with. We have a hiker. Hiker Nolan has a sand slash. Titan. Bubble beam. That should actually do some serious damage. Not bad. Yeah, so I'm recording this episode the straight after the last one. Because, again, still no internet, so... Kind of bored here. So, my only thing that's going to keep me company throughout these days is... You got... Well, technically you guys. And also, technically, this is a sort of one-sided relationship. As in, I feed you comp... I feed you content and you're supposed to feed me... You're supposed to feed me with comments and likes and stuff like that and subscriptions. Please subscribe to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's all perfectly fine. It's all perfectly fine. I mean, hopefully everything will go well. I didn't realise how much I kind of need the internet in order to live my life. It's, it fulfills sort of a... You know, it fulfills a great need for me and I kind of need that need... I kind of need that back. 
So, whenever things happen, I will be very happy when things happen. Here is your cabin. If your Pokemon are hurt, take a nap in the bed. That'll heal them. Okie dokie. I don't really need a nap in the bed right now, though, so... I'm fine. I'm going to the islands to put on a fire-breathing show. Cool. Can I see your fire-breathing show? I'd like to see the fire-breathing show. Please don't do it on board the ship, though. That is not a fire-breathing Pokemon, that is very much a... I mean, it can... it can learn... It can learn fire-breathing moves, it does know... It can learn Fire Blast, I, I am aware that Weezing can learn Fire Blast, and I've used a Weezing with Fire Blast, and uh, a Coughing too with Fire... You know, with Flamethrower and Fire Blast and stuff like that, so I know that it can you learn it. I'm not that... I'm not dumb. It's just that's not a fire-breathing Pokemon. Okay, so we had a wheezing and a coughing. Um, I mean, abilities don't exist, so I can hit you. Uh, so I can hit you with EQ. Uh, yeah, EQ. Do it. Abilities don't exist in this game, so I'm fine with that. I can hit poison type moves and hit poison types with a uh, uh, ground type moves and of course you know levitate doesn't exist Volty is trying to learn agility no thank you Volty and a Flareon is your fire Pokemon tricky come on out here please you can handle a Flareon Tricky. I'm pretty sure you can handle this. Uh, Surf. Let's see how much damage that does. I mean, it'll probably do more than Water Forward. I've also got a load... I've also just recently ordered a beer crate for my local beer shop. And I've got a load of beer in now, so I'm very happy with that. So, I'm going to have a nice little night for myself. Uh... As much as I can, really, with tra more trash TV. I'm pretty sure I can find some for the watch uh, after these episodes that I'm recording. But, oh my god, I really would wish I would have the internet back. No one is in here. Uh, there's a family of people in here. I will wait to fight you. And so I check out this room. Okay, no one's in here. Can I talk to you? The passengers here are trainers. Oh, they are all itching to battle in their cabins. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back to my cabin and heal before we go and uh, deal with this next trainer. All refreshed and restored. All right, so let's go to the uh, room where I saw those twins. Is it this one? Yeah, it is. All right, let's bow you. Hey, kid, you want to bow with me? Sure. Let's see what you got, mate. Pokemon fan... And Colin. Colin has a deli bird. Okay. I will bubble beam your deli bird and see how much damage I'm doing. I am doing decent damage with your bubble beam. It's not very effective, but I, I guess levels. You healed me. Nice. Thank you. I will take that. Strength. Destroy the deli bird. Thank you. Alright, not bad. Colin is defeated. You're strong. And here are your kids. You think I'm a baby? That's not fair. I didn't say you were a baby. You're twins. Meg and Peg. 
You have a Togepi. I am not worried about your Togepi. Very much not worried about this. I will surf it and it will be dead. There we go. And your final Pokemon is a Fanfi, baby Pokemon. Baby Pokemon for the babies. Surf. Baby Pokemon for the babies. But not bad Pokemon too. No much, not very much of a challenge really, but not bad. Megan Pega defeated. Okie dokie, so that is everything on the top floor. What about the underneath? Hey mate. Hey kid, could I get you to look for my buddy? He's goofing off somewhere, that lazy bum. I want you to go and find him. But I want to go and find him, but I'm on duty right now. Alright, fine, I'll go and see where he is. He's not in this cabin. I think he's probably in this one. Hey, mate. Yeah, I'm a sailor. All right. I wasn't goofing off. This cabin was vacant, so I just wanted to take a quick nap. Ah, forget it. Let's battle. All right, Sailor Stanley and his Machoke. I can very much handle your Machoke with Bubble Beam. I think. Maybe two. Karate Chop, that does nothing. It's fine. I know what Bubble Beam should kill from here. Nice. Level 48 for Titan. Titan is trying to learn Aurora Beam. I think that's better than Icy Wind, so I will take it. Machamp coming in. Uh, Daisy. Daisy is applied. Daisy is applied. Uh, let's fly. And Karate Shop does nothing because he missed. Fly is going to do... Uh, fly is going to destroy. It's going to destroy him. Nice. And a Gold Duck is your fire Pokemon. Uh, Wisp, do you want to do with this? I'm sure you can, Wisp. I'm... Sh I'm Almost certain that you can deal with this. Race a leaf. Come through and destroy, maybe? Nice! Does. Awesome. We're 10 levels ahead, so it should do. Being a sailor, uh, I have to do uh, physical labor. It's Exhausting. Get back to work, you slacker. Lazy bum not doing his job. I mean, I can complain. I don't, I don't actually have a job, so... I have to think about... I have to complain about other people not doing theirs. Thanks, kid. I, uh... Ch I chowed him... I, ch I chowed him out. Good to see he'll quit slacking off. So you went and yelled at him for a bit. Okay. Oh, I'm seasick. But why are you battling me? Get back in front of the bin! Why are you battling me if you're seasick? Get out of here, you! You have a Mr. Mime level 35. I'm doing a lot of damage. I must admit, that's a crit I will take. Nice. Good work, Titan. 
Um, a choke. Daisy. You have some weird Pokemon for a juggler. You'd think they'd be like Voltorbs and Electrodes and stuff like that, but no. These are very much not that. But again, you're also being seasick, so they're probably giving you like a pat on the back to make you feel better. And Magmar. I am sorry if you're hearing that on the mic. There are people shouting and it's really annoying. I have no idea what's going on outside because I'm recording, but please, I am sorry. I will have to go and see what the hell's going on after this episode. <laughs> it's all very eventful outside, I guess. I'm, I'm, from what I can hear, there's a lot of raised voices. Hey, Joey. Hey, Joe. How are you doing? This is Joey, got a minute. My rea my radiator is looking sharper. You don't have a radiator uh, anymore. You don't have a radiator anymore. You have a radicate now, Joey. I doubt there's a cooler Pokemon as uh, as this guy in your party. Oh yeah, I almost saw a Marie. I saw a Marie. I thought about going for it, but I decided to work on one and only Pokemon to the extreme end. Okay. Uh, this room here has a sailor. And you're on your break. I will battle you too. We'll get to the Southern Islands today and then we'll... In the next episode, we'll actually continue on and find out what the hell is going on on these islands. But today is all about getting to the Southern Islands. And I'll record that in the next session of videos. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do loads of videos now unless I'm out of internet for a couple of days. I mean, I'm pretty much okay for content until Wednesday, which is when that the previous episode of uh, Pokemon Gold '97 was supposed to be up, and I've got another an episode of uh, an episode of Gold. 90 no no an episode of diamond i need to record so this would be uh i guess i need to record an episode of diamond for thursday and this is going to be sunday's next sunday's episode of gold 97 so i guess i got all that to, i guess i got stuff to do if i really need to do it but i don't really need there's an absolute no you know like 100 percent certainty i need to do it so there's really no need for me to worry about it. If I need content, I can do... I guess I can record, but I really don't really need to give you guys content right now. Oh, so I'm pretty much okay. I mean, I prepared for the eventuality, but I... Uh, because I've... I've had this eventuality where I've been waiting for internet for a few... Uh, for... Uh, in between times, you know, there's those times when I moved back in the day... You know, it's when I moved to here, and of course there was the times when we were getting to, uh, we were switching from Vo Virgin Media to uh, to Vodafone when we were in the old place as well. So, you know, it's nothing new being without internet for a few days and having to have BT open, uh, have the possibility of BT open reach coming down to my house and dealing with that. I mean, we are now in the uh, situation of the ongoing global bastard, but whether that changes anything, I don't know. I honestly don't know if that changes anything with the situation, and if... Hopefully we don't need BT Open Reach, but we'll see what happens. I mean, my phone line works, because uh, I tried to call my, f my home phone earlier, so I know that works. It's just a question of when my internet comes on. Or if my internet comes on. We'll see. What is going on here? This is the captain's quarters. Ugh, oh dear. We're in a serious predicament here. The era forever has done damage to the ship's 
main fuel line. We have reserves uh, that can get us to Amir Town, but we don't have the ability to ret make it a return trip until this gets fixed. It might be asking a bit too much, but could you help us out? There's a guy in Yonk City who repairs ships. He'll have the part we need. When we dock, could you please help us by getting that part? We won't be able to return to the mainland until this is fixed. I guess I will go and get that part. For you. When are we pulling into mainland, by the way? Won't you please help us out? I will help you out. I will. I will help you out. So that's another thing we'll have to do in future episodes. Um, uh, right. I guess we'll go and see what is going on. Guess we can go and rest our Pokemon and see if we've uh, pulled into land. Let's go rest my Pokemon. There we go. The fast ship X West. Uh, sorry, the fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Amia Town. Okay, we have arrived in Amia Town. Fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Amia Town. We are here in Amia Town. All right, kid. We need a new full. We need a new fuel line. There's a guy in Yonk City who will uh, have what we need. Bring it back uh, here when you get time. All right. You came from the mainland? I hear uh, many rare Pokemon live over there. I guess they would be rare to you because, uh, you know, the people on the mainland are saying rare Pokemon live over here. Which would be rare over here, which would be rare over there because, you know, these are isolated islands. The SS Aqua sails uh, to West City on Wednesdays and Sundays. Or it would if it didn't need a new fuel line. I've never been to the mainland. One day I want to ride the fast ship. Good for you, kid. This is your first time in Amia Town, is it right? Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now get out of my way. Hello, mate. Over many years, uh, a long time ago, people uh, from the mainland sailed uh, here and settled on these islands. Feel our culture is slightly more relaxed here. I feel us. I feel our culture is slightly more relaxed here. That's what he says. I've lived on the islands all my life. I wouldn't have it any other way. Good for you, mate. I can see that you like fishing. There's no doubt in my mind at all. Am I right? Yes, just as I thought. Here. As a fellow fishing fan, you can take this super rod. Yay! We got the super rod. Try fishing whenever you like. Remember, you can catch different Pokemon using different rods. The super rod is the best of all of them. Cool. What is this? I can't really swim, so any... Uh, so well anymore but my pokemon love the water so i bring them here frequently it's like a public pool i want to go swimming yeah it's a public it's a public swimming pool you can't have those in the uk for the moment in time water type pokemon love being in the water makes sense right swimming is good exercise for both people and pokemon 
I am aware, I am very much aware of this, but we can't have swimming pools in the UK at this moment in time. Squiddles are great swimmers. Have you gone swimming with your squiddle? Eh, with a squiddle? You have to try it. They're also great Pokemon to raise. I've got a young uh, one that needs uh, some uh, one to train it. Here, you can have the Squirtle. You have too many Pokemon with you. Well, I will get that in a minute. The more controlled environment like uh, an indoor pool can be a better place to train weak Pokemon out of out of any the open on the open sea. Okay, cool. Once I find out where my uh, where an access point to a PC is, I will um, go and uh, uh, get this squirrel from this girl. But until I don't, until I can find that, I'm pretty much not going to be getting that squirrel. Is there a Pokemon Center in this town? Seaside Path. Amia Town to Nalego Village. Okay. Is there a Pokemon Center in this town or not? Okay. Doesn't seem like there's a Pokemon Center in this town. No, no, no there is. Cool. <laughs> I didn't real. I did. I went. I went down too far. The fast ship is a great place to meet and battle trainers. It has been said that a legendary trio of elemental birds will reveal themselves to he who holds the key. I wonder what the key is. And I wonder what who those Pokemon are. Oh, you have many badges. You say you've beat the league. Yep, I have beat the league. I am a champion. I am a Pokemon League champion. Let's go and get this. Uh, let's go and get this. Uh, let's heal up my team and let's go and get that Squirtle. And that's where we'll end today's episode. I hit the table with my joypad. Sorry about that. Right. Let's go and get that Squirtle. Deposit Pokemon. Monty. Go and sit in the box for a moment in time. It'll be fine, don't worry. I'll come back for you, I swear. Years later, still doesn't come back for Monty. I'm not Ash, by the way. I'm not Ash. I don't I don't say I'm gonna come back for my Pokemon and then never do. I'm not that guy. Squiddles are great little swimmers. Have you ever gone swimming with a Squiddle? You have to try it. They're great little Pokemon to raise too. I have got one that needs someone to train it. Here, you can have Squirtle. I received Squirtle. Gives nickname to Squirtle. I have nickname for Squirtle. I call my Squirtles. When I'm allowed to call them it, I, I call them Killer. I've been doing this ever since the first generation of Pokemon games and I will continue to do this all the time. This is Killer the Squirtle. It will always be that way. Help it grow big and strong. I will. By big and strong, I will put it in the PC. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I've pretty much got my team, and I don't really know if I want to... I don't think I'm going to be making any changes to my team at this moment in time. For, uh, anyway, I don't really see the point in changing my team, since this is going to be a little short adventure uh, through the uh, after game of this game. But I will put it in the box. And we'll go and get my Monty. And we will uh, get back. To... In the next episode, we will continue on. And we will go on the, uh, the seaside path. Where are we going? We're going to here. Seaside path. Amia Town to Nago Village. That is where we will go in the next episode of our Pokemon Gold 97 Let's Play. Let's take a look at what we've got ourselves into here on the map. So this is the Seaside Path. Uh, there's Mount Narwhal. Uh, 
Monwau up there. There's this is Amia Town. No, no, no. Down this, uh, then there's Island Strait. There's Nago Village. The Eastwood Summit. The Maiden Path. Raiku, uh, Raiku City. Uh, the Unastone Park. Najo Forest. The Unastone Trail. The Kira Summit. Yonk Point. And the Uma Cavern. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And Yonton City. Yaron City. Okay, so that's what we are dealing with here in the southern islands of now at Nyon. And we will be doing and we'll be going to do some more adventuring in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Join us next time where we will be continuing on and seeing what we can find here on the southern islands of Nyon. But until then, I am Lancer and Joe. Mean to love Pokemon get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lancer and Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.